Well, hats off to Illinois. I thought they played well. Um, we couldn't quite get our feet underneath us to guard them well enough to, to be in the game. It was actually a typical offensive game for us, but a little atypical defensively. And, you know, some of the things they do are a little bit different than what we've seen most of the year. We had trouble just guarding the ball, which uh, ultimately was our undoing. Questions? Start with Abby. Thank you. Keith, can you walk us through those final moments of, you know, your last game of your coaching career and just what's going through your head? Uh, it wasn't quite the way I wish it would end, but uh, one thing I know in life, you know, after being here almost 66 years is that you have to take the good with the bad and you have to you know, you have to rally yourself back when things don't go well. Um, but what's remarkable to me is just the, the, the fan support from Duquesne. You know, we were laughing in the locker room. Um, you know, when we first got there, we couldn't get 10 people to come to the game. Look at all those people that came out last, you know, for this. So I know my dad will be pleased about that wherever he is right now. So uh, that, to me, like we, we've set the – the foundation for great things to come in the future for for Duquesne basketball, for Pittsburgh basketball, and you know, uh, really didn't matter what the score was. I mean, uh, it's irrelevant because we we've, we've laid a good foundation for Duquesne to be a good program in the future. Right here in front, Gina. Thank you. Keith, Zach Weiss, Pittsburgh Sports Now. Just emotionally, I know you're still processing. Just what's the emotional wheel for you now? And to both of you, just how do you feel just being able to send Keith out in a winning way like this with reshaping this program? Let's go with Jimmy, Day Day, and then back to the head coach. Um, just I feel blessed, you know, just to have have him as a coach, you know, him as my as a player on my team. So just going out like that. With the way that we did, I can't do nothing but feel accomplished, especially the way we started with the season coming in 0 and 5. So I don't feel nothing but blessing, you know, just proud of my guys and just being a part of this. I just feel happy to be a part of it. I would agree. Um, just it's an unbelievable accomplishment for the three of us to have gone out on the note of winning the A-10 championship and being able to get uh, that history uh, blocker off, which was winning that BYU game and winning that tournament game as well. So um, it's just a blessing and high appreciation and trying to just uh, let the sting uh, stinger go away right now after these couple last couple hours. I mean, this is it for me. So like I told these guys, I said, don't forget about me. I need somebody to go watch next year. So I'm going to go watch all my guys that are still playing and you know, spend time with them and figure out what I'm going to do next. You know, get my wife healthy first and then go from there. But I, you know, I was just thankful to be around a bunch of guys that never quit. And I, I just, just to see the brotherhood, like, really grow and see these guys do anything for anybody. And like, people don't, like, Day Day in the middle, you know, at the very end, he said, hey, Make sure you get those guys in the game. Get him. He didn't say put me back in. He said, make sure you know this guy gets in and he gets in. Like that tells you a lot about what kind of person he is. And all of them are like that. They're just great guys. Left hand side, gentlemen. Uh, Tim Bench from Duquesne Radio and from Pittsburgh Tribune Review, Trib Live. Uh, Day Day and Jimmy, for you guys, what's it going to be like for you to know that there is a banner hanging? at the UPMC Cooper Fieldhouse, because Drew Joyce talked to us about that on the radio, that this being what it is, you lost Illinois, but there's going to be a banner because of you guys. What does that mean to you two? And, Keith, this might be a tactical question, but um, in terms of the game tonight against Illinois, uh, I know you take great pride in never having anybody speed you up. Did they speed you up to a degree that you didn't like tonight? Well, let's have the student-athletes speak first. Day-Day, your first. Jimmy, second. Well, um, just like Coach Drew said, um, I think it's just a it's a blessing. Not many people can do that, and a high appreciation to all the guys, my brothers, the coaching staff, and um, just all of us, everybody who was with us from the jump since we were 0 and 5, starting the conference of uh, that accomplishment and that success. Um, 
that's that's just a blessing to be able to have that banner hung up, and not many people can do that and have have been in a position that we've been in these these last few weeks and even a couple months. Yeah, I have to say the same. It's just just being able to to say you were gonna do something and then see it happen. Out, it was just good to see that, especially with these guys. So you know me, I'm always gonna tell the truth. So he's a Bob Huggins disciple. And they just bullied us a little bit tonight. And then we got a little frazzled and unraveled. And we had trouble with their physicality and their quickness. Um, but I think if we played again, we'd, be, we'd play better. I just don't think that we were, you know, quite ready for the quickness level and the strength. You know, Shannon's one of the strongest guys in the country going to the basket. If you watch tape on him, he, he did the same thing in the Big Ten in the last five, six games. He's just putting his head down and getting there. And, you know, he's getting there quickly, you know. And, uh, you know, so I think they sped us up, but I think they, they were they were physical, which most Big Ten teams are. We're under three minutes to go. We have two questions up. Go. Dady and Jimmy, can you just try and put into words the impact Coach Dambrot has had on you guys as individuals? Jimmy, you're first, please. Um, it's hard, you know, especially coming in from from JUCO already playing in the A10. It was it was good for me, you know, especially having a coach like this to just stay on me, a guy that's going to tell you the truth whenever. So just having that in my life, especially playing with this team, it, I feel like it helped me grow as a person and a basketball player. So just being able to describe it in words, I can't really describe it in words right now, but I'm definitely grateful for it for sure. Just piggybacking and agreeing with Jimmy said because Coach uh, coached us similarly. Um, me and Coach's uh, relationship grew, and um, it grew as well on the court um, because we had a meeting earlier in the season, and I was basically asked to be coached harder. And um, Coach took the initiative as well as the other staff, and they, they did that, and I accepted that challenge. But um, before then, um, that wasn't the case and um, our relationship wasn't as balanced. And I think after that time that um, coach was starting to coach me harder, that uh, our relationship just grew and I just became a lot much more appreciative just to have him as a coach, just to be under his wing, learn more, um, rather it's off the court or on the court things, just to make me a better man. Uh, Hunter Hensel, A-10 talk. Uh, this is for Trey and Dede. So both of you guys started your college careers off at different schools, but closed it out at Duquesne on this run. Uh, so just when you're looking back on this in the future, what will you think about Duquesne and what does Duquesne mean to you? Day Day, lead us off, please. To be honest, uh, speaking from a duo standpoint, um, me, and, me and Jimmy's du duo, it, it's gonna go a long way. It's gonna be my brother forever. Um, we have so many similarities and uh, so many things that we're alike, and we can hold each other accountable in any hostile or adverse situation. So, um, just just speaking on that, man, we can we can look back, and, and we can look back at the success and just be like, dang, like we really did it. We turned things around. We can say whatever we like as far as a positive manner, but we're we're the type of young young humble young men to where we would just continue to try to find things we can work on rather than looking back at. It just the success all the time. Yeah, I'll have to say the same. You know, uh, we, we talk about the sport a lot. We talk about life a lot. So just being able to accomplish what we did here and probably a few years from now, just looking back on it, we probably going to say we could have did certain things better or what we could have did. But more than all, we're just going to remember all the memories that we had, especially with our teammates. So just being able, being able to come here and complete what we did, even though we wanted to go further, it was just a blessing.